Hey, how you doing? My name is Mark Pulisvic, and you just searched theories of entrepreneurship. I mean, it's kind of funny. I never, I'm not, I don't really consider myself someone who seeks theories, but it's pretty cool to, to learn about it because how I spread my business, how I, how I practice entrepreneurship myself is I have a, a, one of my strategies is I, I find keywords that people are looking for. And this, this term theories of entrepreneurship actually gets 1300 searches a month. And so it's it's clear that people are definitely interested in different theories. So I figured I'll go learn it and then help people out and share exactly what it is that what are the different theories of entrepreneurship. Just to start out, the basic definition of entrepreneurship is is someone who starts a business and accepts all the risks that are associated with starting your own business, basically. And there's five different there's five different theories that they all kind of fall into. And the first one is it's no particular order, but it's economic. It's an economic theory that basically the idea of entrepreneurs as risk, taper, risk takers are important for the economy. Um, the next is psychological. It's the psychological theory of entrepreneurship is like the, the thinking that goes on inside of um, entrepreneurs' head. Their their feeling of impact on the world. Their feeling of that they can make a difference, basically. And the sociological is like that kind of that same that same thing doing good for others it's just natural anybody who who does something good for others without them really expecting it it's kind of that 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 feel good feeling it helps you it's the idea of basically establishing big networks establishing good relationships being someone who who has a good social social relationship with others a good social health basically who people like them because of what they provide to them and all that stuff why people love Steve Jobs and what he did that that kind of social sociological um, theory towards it. Um, the next one is resource based. It's basically people who are like they allocate capital. They find different ways of of using the resources that they have to to make things better. Basically, to 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 use entrepreneurship as as that theory falls into the idea of um, whatever things that we're given. Basically, we can we can use those resources and make it even better. That's kind of the same kind of theory for entrepreneurship. And the last one was. Um, opportunity based it's basically people entrepreneurs are there for creating opportunity um creating jobs creating different different things making things better and all that good stuff so that's that's basically the five different theories of entrepreneurship um it was pretty cool i like learning that and hopefully i shared some cool valuable information with you uh if you're interested in actually starting your own your own business and doing some of the same things i'm doing where i go out and i help people answer their questions and then actually point them to a business where I have I have my own internet business. It's pretty cool the year that we live in today. If you can decide today that you want to start a business and be and open that business today and instantly be open in in every country in the world and be open 24 7 7 days a week every day of the year even on holidays and all that good stuff. So it's kind of funny to think about that idea because most people don't realize it because it's brand new business minds 50 years ago would kill for this ability to do that so just imagine having your your store open 24 7 people can come in from any country in the world and it's it's always there you can that's the true meaning of basically learning how to make money in your sleep um it's definitely a cool experience so i encourage you to t take a look at the information below this video it's hbl.nxt-school.com it's a ticketed free report I created for you that shows you seven essential ideas to building a home business anywhere in the world as long as you have some type of internet connection. Uh, either way, hopefully this video was valuable to you. Hopefully you like what you see on the next page. If you're interested in becoming an entrepreneur or, or, or kind of changing your way in entrepreneurship, whatever it is that you're doing, I'm not sure what it is that you're doing or where you're coming from. But either way, hopefully this was valuable to you. I thank you for taking time to watch this video and hopefully we can talk soon. Take it easy. Traditionally, the church looks at business people as sinners in the marketplace, like tax collectors in Jesus' time. So they, they should be coming to church to support the business and the, the ministry. The role of business people is only financial support. I think which is not a, it's, it's not a right way of looking at business people. We need to empower business people as marketplace ministers. And once you do them, you know, the, I, I believe in the biblical verse, Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of the Lord. That includes even doing business. You do business for God's glory. And when you give them that due respect and that due release them for that calling, you are doing for God's glory. 
the business people are able to overcome that barrier that's blocking their mind the spiritual barrier they don't go to the world lord i'm here i'm trying to make money as much as possible so that i can do something holy spiritual somewhere else no when they come to business lord thank you holy spirit that you brought me to this place i'm here to minister to this land you know you set them free this guy is greatly equipped to come and conquer the place for jesus traditionally the church looks at business people as sinners in the marketplace